Hello everybody, welcome back to the Marauders Guild. And it is Friday, meaning, guess what? It is time for Mando Recap. On the channel, we had a new chapter come out today. It is chapter 10, The Passenger. Now, in this episode, we had some interesting things take place. However, I will say, if you ask me, this was more of a filler episode. So we're gonna be going over the events of it, what possible implications could there be, if any, and what I expect to see moving forward in this current season of The Mandalorian. Now this episode starts off straight off the heels of chapter 9. He's still on Tatooine and he's looking for more leads into where other Mandalorians are. As we saw in chapter 9, the lead on Tatooine led to no Mandalorians. But he gets a new one that a Mandalorian cove. So most of Mandalorians are somewhere on another planet. But to get there, he must also take his lead to the planet as well. It is a frog lady. We don't really learn her name if I'm not mistaken. And she needs to get there. She has eggs that are preparing to be hatched and she needs to be brought to this planet however the one caveat here is that they cannot travel in hyperspace they have to go sublight speed otherwise her eggs will die that's something the mandalorian is not a fan of because traveling in sublight space at this current moment in time is a really bad idea there are pirates there are smugglers there's the empire of course and then also there's a chance that you run into the new republic and it's the New Republic that he did run into. And the actions that he undertook in the first season in raiding a New Republic holding cell came back to haunt him. He was extremely fearful of what they might do and it ensued a chase down to the snow planet that we do see in some shots of the trailer for this particular season. Now once he is down there, they are trapped, he needs to fix the ship. He almost gets to a point where he completely neglects the deal that he made with this frog lady but reminds him that Mandalorians are supposed to honor their word. And in doing so, Mando gets up, starts repairing the ship. She goes off to essentially warm up her eggs and warm up herself. She finds like a, a hot pit of water. She goes in there to relax and the child is in there. And one thing that you notice about the child is he keeps eating her eggs. For why, I don't know. This wasn't really something that was elaborated on. He just kept doing it. So Mando stops it. And I'm kind of bummed out there was no, like, issue with the fact that, like, he ate, like, two or three of her eggs, at least two or three. That's how many we saw him eat. We don't know how many he actually got his hands on, and she didn't notice it. So that was a bit strange to me as well. But, moving on from that, the child who finally refrains from eating the eggs of this frog lady eats the eggs of the spider creatures that exist on this planet. And it brings in a whole horde. And I will say this moment was probably the most action-inducing and bone-chilling and blood-rushing moment in the entire episode. They're all three being chased by these terrifying spider-looking creatures. I thought they were going to be the same spiders as sheep, but when I saw their faces, I was like, yeah, that's not it. <laughs> so they get chased back to the Razor Crest. It looks like all is going to end. But the same New Republic pilots that Mando was being chased by at the beginning of the episode come in with their saving graces to get him out of this tight pinch. However, they do bring back up the issue that happened in the first season. However, they did see their security footage and they saw that Mando actually did assist the New Republic to a degree in that situation. So they forego his arrest warrant and allow him to leave on his own power. The Mando does so and is on his way to the next planet where his journey will continue. Now, as I said, this episode was more filler. We only got bits of information that will be brought up in next episodes. But for this particular chapter, chapter 10, The Passenger, nothing major took place in my opinion. There was a lot of fun in this episode. There's a lot of suspense, but nothing that really furthers the overall plot that is going on here. We really got nothing in terms of Mando's search um, other than the fact that he knows where other Mandalorians are but we didn't really get anything else with the child story. Um, so yeah, this episode filler. If I had to rate it, I'd probably get it about a seven or an eight out of 10. I mean, there were great moments. It was a fun watch, like I said, that's what I really wanna stress. It's a fun watch. It wasn't a bad episode by any degree, but it really wasn't something that I think if you're in it for the story of The Mandalorian, didn't really hit that same level as chapter nine did for this particular season. But Moving forward, what do we expect? Well, we do know that he is going to that Mandalorian COVID. Hopefully, if there is one there, 
in the next episode. As far as this Frog's Lady story, I expect that will be the end of it. We'll probably see her husband in the next episode and they'll probably go their own way. As for the child, I don't know what we can expect more from the child. We didn't, as I said, we didn't really get anything about his particular story in this episode. So that's really the only bit of information we have right now is that in the next episode, he more than likely will see this new covet of Mandalorians if they are on the planet as the frog lady did until. Well, I wanna know from you, you saw chapter 10, The Passenger, what did you think about it? What were your favorite moments from the episode and what do you see happening as we move forward with season two of The Mandalorian? Okay, it actually just hit me. This video is not gonna be over just yet. There is actually a shot in the season two trailer in which you see the same frog lady from chapter 10, the passenger walking in front of the Mandalorian and there is her husband next to her as well. Now this is going to be the planet they're heading to, but another interesting note is this is where we'll see Sasha Banks' first character, the WWE superstar herself, who's portraying somebody in this particular season. Rumor has it that she is playing Sabim of Star Wars Rebels fame. We'll have to see as other rumors have swirled around about who she could be playing as well. But expect to see Sasha Banks' debut in The Mandalorian in Chapter 11. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified about any upload here on the channel. And until the next time, may the force of others be with you.